Hello, this is What's Up With Your Principles. I'm Mr. Fee, and this is... Miss Ralston. Okay, it's starting with me. Um, hey, we want to do a big shout-out. Uh, this was an idea by a group of high school students that then came to fruition with a high school student. And it is a who's who's wall. Who's who wall. Who's who's wall. Well, we'll see it. Who's who? Uh, so what you're going to see is we have different... Everybody who works in the building. Custodians, maintenance. Um, Cleaners. What? Cleaners. Cleaners are all going to be up there with their names underneath. So students, if you see them in the school, please, please, please stop and say hello. I want to start also with a shout out. Homecoming was incredible. Uh, it was student council. You did a fantastic job. Mrs. Barry, you did an awesome job. The spirit theme for the week was incredible. Students, it was so awesome to see the student sections back at the volleyball game, the football game, like everybody excited and into it. Powder Puff was a lot of fun. The car smash, we raised over $300 to be donated to a very good cause. The bonfire was fun. So, um, And then the dance, if you missed DJ Stu Miller, don't miss the next dance. He really brought it. So, um, Okay, start of what? Start of sports, winter sports. Hard to believe that our first seasons are winding down. So let's talk about the first seasons. Uh, we have playoffs coming up, so please be on the lookout on our athletic page, Mr. Capaletti. I'm sure he'll do a athletic video about what dates are going to be, where people are going to be playing, uh, so be on the lookout for that. And winter sports, hey, the big one is we have swimming. Swimming is coming back. Speaking of DJ Stu Miller, he is also Coach Stu Miller, so he'll be leading the swim program. Uh, November 14th is the beginning of JV and varsity practices. Please make sure you sign up on Family ID. If you have any questions, you can go to Mrs. Adams in the nurse's office or always Mr. Capaletti. Um, October 19th, half-day dismissal. So on October 19th, dismissal from our building will be at 11.30. So um, just make sure you mark that on your calendar. Great. The next one is going to do kind of um, all things kind of code of conduct. So... Number one, we have official dance protocols in our code of conduct. Mm -hmm. uh, teachers are going to be talking about it, but parents, please read the code of conduct. Kids, please know what the dance protocol is, as we kind of we've already had one dance and more are coming up. Please understand the rules. The second one is after school, especially as we get into winter sports, we start to have that 4:30 practice. We have that six o'clock practice. You need to be in the cafeteria after school. The bus will now be picking us up again out back. So why do I say that? Because if you get in trouble, you are going to take an after school suspension from the cafeteria. So that means if your practice doesn't start till 430, you cannot wait here. So mom and dad will have to bring you home and bring you back. If that's not possible, then you will miss practice time, will then result in playing time, or could be cuts. So we just say, please make sure you are following the rules after school. The next one, backpacks. Remember, we do not allow backpacks at Cuba Rushford. You can have drawstring bags only for PE, to and from. We don't allow backpacks during the day at Cuba Rushford. You can bring your backpack to school. Yes, that's why we have lockers. Uh, next, senior privileges started today, Yay. October 14th. To the all 12th. those 12. Is the 12th. Uh, I don't know the day. That's small. I'm getting old with my eyes. So, um, what does that mean, parents? It means if you have a senior and they are not failing anything and they are good not only in academics but also uh, code of conduct and all that, they don't have to be here for study halls. They also can leave for lunch. Um, so you may see them say, hey, I don't have to go to school until 9.04. And you're like, you're lying. No, they're not. Um, they're allowed to sign in late. So please, 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 if you have any questions, give us a call. Seniors, you guys have been great with it. Um, every five weeks, we redo that. All right, we look at who's failing, who's passing, and then the number of write-ups. Students, be checking your email by the end of the week or early next week. You'll be getting an email about allies. Sixth grade, you're probably like, what in the world does this mean? You're going to get an email where I ask you to name your three most trusted uh, adults in this building. It's not peers and it's not outside the building. So it's three most trusted adults within the building. You will all be getting that email by the end of this week. Um, students, grades 7 through 12, you know how it works. Fill that out. We then assign it and you'll hear from that teacher. 
Um, might you want me just to keep going? Yeah. Okay, also, two exciting events coming up that we want to make sure you have on your calendar. Um, for the entire community, we have on Wednesday, October 26th, 6 to 8, School Halloween. We had it two years, two years ago? Mm -hmm. Two years ago. Um, where you got to come and all the classrooms were decorated differently and you trick-or-treated through the building. Happening again this year. Put on by our senior seminar classes. Mm -hmm. um, so School Halloween, 6 to 8, Wednesday, October 26th. Come and have FUN. And then on Friday, October 28th, middle school Halloween party. So much fun. Lots of different events that day. Yes, you may come in costume. And that is um, for any students, if you are on, if you are failing anything at the five week mark, you are ineligible to attend. So make sure you check your grades, save the date, come and have fun. Questions always come up. Are we allowed to wear our Halloween costumes on that Friday? So yes. Is it the Friday or on Halloween? Halloween's on the school day this year. It should be on Halloween. Okay, on Halloween. Um, on Halloween, you may wear your costume to school. You cannot wear masks. You cannot have fake blood. You cannot have fake weapons. And it must be within the dress code. So um, make sure all of that's true about your costume. And feel free to wear it on October 31st. Great. Thank you. Life lesson time? Yes. Life lesson time from Mr. Fee. Today's life lesson is going to revolve around being selfish versus selfless. There's a lot of times in this world people don't want to tell the truth because they think people are going to think of them as a jerk. But if you look at the closest people around you, you don't want them in your life if they're not telling you the truth. Okay, and a lot of times as leaders, as adults, um, in, our work, in our work world, we're like, we don't want to tell the truth because we don't want to be the bad guy. We don't want them to dislike us. And really, the lie in all of that is you are being selfish, not selfless. So, please, when you go through life, think about telling people the truth. You can articulate yourself in a positive way. But too many times, especially in this click bite era, in a world where um, we just want to say, great job, great job, sometimes we kind of miss out on the truth. So. Please ask yourself in everything you do, are you really being selfish or are you being selfless? Great lesson. Tell the truth. Have a great day.